Now think of a team you're on now or a significant relationship. How do you deal with conflict today? Conflict isn't good or bad, but I'm not kidding you. I, I, you're not crazy. It's hard and uncomfortable. And that's because our nervous system gets fired and we go into fight, flight, or freeze. And we all have our own personal triggers. Mine is anybody getting upset in the environment and I get really anxious. My body floods with fear and I want to run. Well, mine, if I'm around people who are really nice and polite and not saying stuff, I actually start to think they're up to something dangerous. <laughs> and um, I go to fight. <laughs> Uh, so the got me into a little trouble, I will admit. <laughs> you know. The question I had to ask, and you may want to ask, is do I want to let my nervous system control me and limit me? Chris Marie Campbell and Susan Clark have been speaking, writing, coaching, and consulting together for the last 20 years. As speakers and published authors of The Beauty of Conflict, They've worked with thousands of professionals from Fortune 100 companies to nonprofits to startups. It was a very dynamic hour. I thought it was, they did very well over the last hour presenting on a very large topic in a very quick and uh, orderly fashion. It was a great presentation. It's amazing. They shared really compelling stories and they were very vulnerable. And I have a lot of good key takeaways from the session. You know, you could tell that they'd really practiced, but it wasn't a forced feeling. You know, they bounced off each other really nicely. So they did a good job. They were great. They were really interesting and did a really great job delivering the whole thing. And I'm going to use it with my team. When you actually want to bring people together, it gets in the way and it undermines some aspect of what's critical in showing up in conflict and getting to the best, more integrative new idea. Because okay. when we work with teams, one, we, we introduce this idea that are you being a superstar, an accommodator, or a separator? Start being aware of that in the different scenarios. Because if you can hang in and tolerate the tension, that's when actually it's like this pressure happens and it's not my idea or your idea. We start to come up with new ideas if we can hang in with a different idea. There really is a lot of evidence, even in our own brain, that when conflicting ideas are actually beginning to occur, that is when creativity happens. It doesn't happen with when you're in that rote, same thing you always do. But to get you, that's why that discomfort is so important. But you have to allow for the discomfort. Business is personal, and we still have business to do. So cue Lego movie. Because this is what people think a team's gonna be like. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but that's not what happens, really. No, what really happens on a team is you do start out with an awesome vision. Great. So you gather some smart people, and they are passionate about your cause. And all of a sudden, these smart people start having very different opinions. And then those different opinions come with strong emotions because they've got a lot of passion. And you're stuck in, I'm right, you're wrong, and we're smack dab into conflict. Now, we don't like conflict. So most people choose to diffuse it. I like the board, how they talk about conflict. It was great at knowing that structure, it kind of helps you deal with those things in an organized manner. So that's why I'm buying the book. I thought this was a great workshop. I actually took two pages of notes and I was engaged the entire time. It's fantastic. It definitely gave me a different perspective on just communication in general, especially with conflict. I loved this program. Conversations, how we view sides of issues is such a interesting piece of management that is left out so often. They are a fantastic duo and I like how different they are it's like real life provides some real functional tools and tactics because it's written not by just theorists but like practice people who are actually practicing what they're preaching and what they're training on Chris Marie's an Olympic rower a Boeing flight test engineer a master coach and business consultant and has her MBA Susan was given only a 4% chance of surviving now alive and well, she has a Bachelor's of Science in Education, Master's in Applied Behavioral Sciences, and is an Equus coach. No one really likes conflict, and we don't even like conflict, and we wrote a book called The Beauty of Conflict. <laughs> but you need to know, we didn't call it the fun of conflict, the comfort of conflict, the joy of conflict. We called it the beauty of conflict intentionally, because beauty has depth. 
Beauty has an expression of all the different colors that come together when differences come together. And that to me is what conflict offers. Now all too often, we get stuck in the pain of conflict. You'll notice that's on our book too. Mm -hmm. We did, you know, just a small X out because it's so easy to get caught in the pain of conflict. And that's usually when we are avoiding it or staying in our perspective positions where we stay polarized, where we, st we don't talk to each other. Like I know when I grew up, I heard there was a Thumper's mother or father or one of Thumper's people all together. And I ran in a weekend's time over 36 miles. And, and partially, and I didn't even know it. I happened to be clocking it. But every time anything would get uncomfortable in the family dynamics, you, you know, you know, that there's been some issues with my family, I would go for a run. And I realized it was so interesting after that weekend that I realized, oh, I still do it. I have now run 36 miles. I don't even do that sort of thing. So that's definitely in the separator <laughs> category, you know? Today's seminar was fantastic. It's okay to be vulnerable. How to work past that and what that feels like. It's an exciting to have someone actually have simple, easy tools that you can teach and use. Learned ways to deal with conflict and actually recognize conflict. And I can't wait to read their book to figure out more. Oh, I would recommend the seminar to anyone. You know, there's a highly sensitive person. I am not that. I am the highly <laughs> reactive person, you know. And so, but it's helped me to really get to, why is this so important to me? Why have I got myself fired up? And if I can really drop underneath that, it's very different when I realize, you know, oh, I'm fighting because of something. It's not what I thought it was. It's usually something else. So either version, get interested in the other person, get interested in why am I so riled up? Because when you're doing that, you're getting to the people's, the person's core values or what, what matters, what have they built this on? Why does diversity matter so much? Why does, you know, because they've had their own experience, something's happened to them. And that's when we start to be humans with each other and you can influence each other as and opposed to being right, wrong. Because we want to get out of uh, uncertainty. So we want to, figure out the rule, the right answer, and what we're talking about is dialogue and asking why is this so important to you. Chris Marie really loves conflict. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> At all. In fact, I grew up with an army colonel father who um, had seen a lot of action and we had to have dinner every night at 7.30. And what was predictable is just how unpredictable he was going to be. Typically how we work is usually we'll come in and do a two-day off-site and the first morning is some of that team building and getting to know and we introduce a communication model. And then we shift usually to start talking about their business, but we actually are facilitating the conversation. So we're having them go deeper, mm -hmm. trying to encourage this vulnerability and curiosity, but they're talking about their business there. What's their core purpose? What do we do? What's most important right now? All that stuff. So that starts to happen, but it's over a two-day period, and it deepens. And at the end of the two days, they're giving people, they're giving each other real-time feedback. She didn't add the part, like, we often try to insist, too, that they go out to dinner. Yeah. And a lot of times, we'll get kicked back from, like, oh, you know, we don't, we don't have time for this. We don't have budget for this. We don't have, and we often say, look, you don't have to do it this way. And the reason we do it is because that evening time they spend together is amazing what kind of conversations start to happen at the dinner table, what, you know. I'm uh, wine is the great elixir of truth. <laughs> and so a lot more happens as people are marinating and that deepens. And then the next day we have them do a little bit more on the healthy side, the, the whole person, the whole, and the business conversations get even better. Together, Chris Marie and Susan captivate as they inspire and educate audiences to embrace what most of us avoid. They also speak on teamwork and healthy relationships. They're very lively and very engaging, and uh, it's one of those speakers that you know you really don't have to try to pay attention. They give some strategies and highlights, but you know sometimes you need the more in-depth analysis, and it's good to have examples. This was a great opportunity to learn about myself. And this was a great opportunity to learn about how I could be a better leader. They were very engaging. They shared very personal stories. I learned that there's three different types of personality traits for conflict. I also learned how to deal with conflict in a business setting. I enjoyed uh, the strategies to resolve conflict and and then how to implement different strategies after that, you know, to resolve conflict, so really, you know, in a healthy way. Resources we have within and between us to bridge our differences and tap that unlimited renewable resource. So you are capable of amazing things. I know we're out of time now, so I'm gonna wrap this up quickly. You are capable of amazing things. So the next time you get stuck in conflict, remember, diffuse it. I mean, 
Oh there my you God! Go. I just, you know, she blew the punchline. Okay, we're going to be fighting about this later. Yes. Use it. Don't defuse it. Because <laughs> you too can change the world. One team, one relationship, one conflict at a time. <laughs> Thank, okay. you. Thank you. For good speakers, I thought they complimented each other well. You had the brow, the very serious way to think about things, and then you also had the I don't know the more extroverted style of dealing with life. But they work very well together, and they, I think their differences of opinion or how they come at the problems were complimenting. So it was very good. I love their personality. I like the way they play off of each other. And I, I learned how to embrace conflict, how to not avoid conflict, and I realized too that I'm an accommodator. It made me feel as though now I can be the superstar. You know, I learned a lot. The whole first boat, second boat thing was great. I Super loved this. I loved this, and it, it really did give me aha moments that I want to take and use more. They were fantastic. They have a great energy. They had the entire room here very engaged the, the whole time. With tons of questions and interaction. It was fantastic. I enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Really enjoyed it. We want to see more of that. For more information, go to www.thriveinc.com.